developing now, DeKalb County schools could see some very big changes over the next decade. It's part of the school district's new master plan to address three key areas, overcrowded schools, under enrolled schools and schools in poor condition. Joe Ripley live for us this evening at Towers Elementary and Joe, what changes could we see specifically there? Hey, good evening to you, Jennifer. Well, schools like Towers High School behind me could see new programs come their way, even a facelift if this master plan is approved. Now, the school district says 13 schools right now are dealing with overcrowding out of 138. 22 schools in the district are under 70% enrollment, including Towers here, and another 12 schools are deemed to have poor facility conditions. The fixes for all these issues could take the next decade to address. The DeKalb County School District's master plan aims to address three areas. Overcrowding, which means a school's classroom capacity is over 100%. Underutilization, which means classroom capacity is 70% or less. And poor facilities, which the district deems is less than a score of 60 on a 0 to 100 scale. Cross Keys High School, for example, is projected to have 2,300 students over capacity by 2031. To address overcrowding, the school district plans to group schools around Ashford Park and Cross Keys and build a new repurposed Cross Keys High School. While in the short term students would be spread out, the new school would have more capacity. The master plan also calls for building new K-8 schools, early learning centers, and standalone magnet schools. Avondale Elementary, for example, will eventually become a performing arts magnet program. Other schools like Idlewood Elementary are dealing with over enrollment and poor conditions. Towers High School only has 40% enrollment. The district's master plan includes a cyber tech magnet program at Towers in the future to attract more students. The district also plans to have consultants, construction crews and engineers evaluate each school's facilities from outside wear and tear over decades to inside the classroom. The district will also analyze demographics to know how redistricting might play out. The funding for the master plan exceeding $1 billion would come from a combination of local tax dollars and CARES Act funding spread out over 10 years. And the district's going to present a completed version of this master plan to the school board next month. If approved, DeKalb County schools could start seeing some changes starting next year and longer term projects through at least 2030. If you'd like to weigh in on this, there is a survey online you can participate in. Just find the story at 11alive.com. All right, Joe, thank you so much.